Kaito-san is probably waiting for me back at the office. Uh, Hamura is almost absolutely positive the guy who took the money or hired the guy to take the money. Side mm -hmm. side quest. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? Some weird bird? No. What is this? That's mine! Huh? <laughs> oh. Wait! I should probably pick an easier voice for this guy. Ow! Oh, grr. Shit! Not now! Hey, you okay, man? Ah, uh, I think I sprained my ankle. But more importantly, my hat. Hat? That was most certainly a wig. I'm sorry, but you have to go after it, please. Uh, say what? <laughs> Look at this camera angle. It's an emergency. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'll pay you. Come on. Help a brother out. Uh, fine. <laughs> Capture the hat. <laughs> it's amazing. This is, this is well worth the money I paid to buy this game. Every single yen. Finally got it. <clears throat> ah, uh, sorry, it's a really fast hat. That was pretty crazy, man. Here, thank you. She. Uh, aren't you going to wear it? Nah. I can't put it on when anyone's watching. Which brings me to my next point. Do I look familiar to you? Mm. Now that you mention it, I do feel like I recognize you. <sighs> uh, I guess you'll find out when you turn on your TV. You mind letting me explain real quick? Mm. Sure. No one's looking, right? Yeah. Not that I can tell. All right, here goes. That wind was rather mischievous, eh? I feel downright teased. Perhaps, my old friend, the wind got jealous of how much sunlight I've been taking in lately. What a cad! Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? Oh, what a heel I've been. I should introduce myself. I am Toya Tokunaga, the idol. 
Oh, from the smoking earlier, the guy was saying, "Oh, he's the perfect cosplay, but he's bald. Oh, he he's got the luscious hair." That's what they were talking about. Eh? Huh? You're an idol. Oh, you don't know me. Here, I was thinking I was famous. If rumors are to be believed, Toya Tokunaga is the fire beneath a certain subset of every woman's desires. Uh, oh, so I see. So, who might you be? You've got a mean sprint. I'm Yagami. I run a private eye business in Kumurucho. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Thank... I, well, I do apologize. <clears throat> Well, I do apologize for taking you into such a place as this, Yagami-san. My face is such a well-known commodity. I can't let people see me like this. I guess that's understandable. But I do have a favor to ask. Can you keep the hat a secret? Toya Tokunaga is a singing and dancing idol with silky smooth hair that flits about in the breeze. If people were to find out my silky locks were just a hat... It's fine. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you for your cooperation, man. This is a token of my gratitude. Not hush money or anything. Anyway, I'm due for a taping right now. We shall meet again through the magic of TV! He came like a gale and left like a breeze. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see any more. Oh, another side mission. Here we go. That was my goal today. Far beyond the road of life and deep within my dreams, I chase be. I. Okay. The moment I care the most is when I get too close, but then the voice inside me uh, rings out with all my hope. I can't sing for shit. I could have synced up well if I knew how to sing. That was Amidst a Dream by yours truly, Sana Mihama. Thank you all for listening. Woo! Go Sana-chan! <laughs> Amazing as always, Sana-chan. Yeah! It's like I could feel your thoughts emanating into my deepest parts of my soul. <laughs> Nothing brightens my day like a sweet serenade from Sana-chan. Ota-san, Kitamura-san, Tsunawatari-san, thank you all so much. Oh yeah, I'll be purchasing your CD too. Me too. Actually, I'll take two. Then I'll take three. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Thank you, everyone. She's got a whole CD out, huh? Oh, you were listening too. Thanks, newcomer. Should I buy her CD for 1,500 yen? Can I get one as well? Sure. I'm glad you like it that much. Anytime you want to hear more, I'll be here singing my heart out. Hope to see you around. Amidst a dream. Side case. Okay, any more? I guess I can nip by the office and see if they got anything for me. one of those posters I'm looking for.
<laughs> Thank you, Maru. Yes, my singing is amazing. <laughs> Not. So. <laughs> Oh, there's a kitchen. I love the Yakuza games just for how accurate they are, for like how office buildings and stuff are in Japan. Like they could easily take uh, liberties and make them flashier or bigger, but they really do get it like spot on. And I like how all the Yakuza stuff happens in like actual back rooms and like regular office spaces and not like Yakuza Mansion. Yakuza Castle. Yagami-san, need something? Uh, do you have any work? Here's what we have right now. Ah, nothing yet. I need to progress the main story and get my rank, my uh, reputation rank higher. <coughs> So I need to talk to her again, it said. Oh, other way. I'm losing my voice now after <clears throat> all those weird voices and singing. <laughs> oh, okay, she's not there. Okay, any more before I continue with the main story? Ah, here's one. Bartender. How's my health looking? Full health. Oh, whoops. Map. Bartender. Oh, that guy's gonna wanna fight. Oh no, that's, I keep mistaking uh, my feline friend for an enemy because of how he walks. Ah, right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Sana. Hey, haven't we met before? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, you're... The girl singing out in front of Theatre Square. Right? Hi. Yes, my name is Sana Mihama. You bought a CD, didn't you? Yeah, I'm surprised you remember me. <laughs> of course I do. You might not realize it, but buying my CD is like sowing a seed of hope for my career. Oh, no. Mind telling me your name, stranger? Yeah, I'm, I'm Yagami. I work as a detective around here. <laughs> wow, you're actually a detective? I've only seen those in the movies. Oh, no. So, you listened to my song. Did you like it? Mm. I did. The lyrics were nice. And you know what? I really got into it, especially the lyrics. Oh, thank you. Hearing your kind hearing that kind of thing makes my day. I'm a singer-songwriter after all. Being able to do both is pretty impressive. By the way, you're not here to drink, are you? Not to presume, but you look a little young. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm just here to sing. And yes, I've got another year before I can drink. Basically, what happened was, the owner listened to a couple of my songs and ended up asking if I could perform. Guess he really likes your music. That's always good news. Yeah, hey... Would you mind singing something for me? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> it doesn't make sense if she's saying it. Hey, would you mind singing something for me? Not at all. In fact, I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, she's absolutely pretty. Far beyond the road of light, and my dreams deep within, deep within my dreams, I chase behind a shadow that my eyes cannot see. Oh, I think I was too fast there. I mean... I'm trying to sing English lyrics to a Japanese song.
That is really nice. So what they always do for Yakuza games and presumably the spin-offs is they get like actual celebrities or uh, some, well, in the other games, actual, let's say, adult models, uh, adult video models to, they lend their likeness to the game and they're also like NPCs. So like, it's really interesting meeting these people and not actually knowing who they are. But then like, they're, oftentimes real people so i'm guessing sana's a real person she's probably an actress or music person or some celebrity from 2018 the moments when i care the most is when i get too close but then the voice inside of me rings out with all my hope that's the best you're gonna get at me uh you got me san I'm glad I got to talk with you today. I'll still be doing my street gig, so stop by during the day if you ever want to hear more. Okay, and now she's back there again. Uh, since I'm near home, I guess I'll continue with the main story for now. I can listen to her a bit more later. But yeah, I'm pretty sure one of the main hostesses from Majima's Cabaret Club in Yakuza 0 uh, is... What was her name? I something. But anyway, she, uh, she now has like a YouTube gaming channel, I think. I don't remember it so much, but... Doria! ロッタがいや if Higashi's really changed, I bet it all started after the break-in that got Kaito-san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. ハムラの<笑> この間頭に無罪取ってやったのって俺らだよな。報われないね。1年前、カイトさんが国を破門にされた時、あ
例の綾部から聞いた情報によればだ東よどうやってさあなもっと詳しく聞きたきゃ20万出せって言われてよそん時は持ち合わせがなかったんでなそれっきりでじゃあ綾部に聞けばいろいろ分かるわけか金はかかるぞやつは今ならテンダーにいるはずだ海藤さん東とは全然会ってなかったのか今日阿門されて以来久々だ俺と行き来すりゃあいつが頭に目つけられる迷惑になっちまうと思ってなそっかありがとう相棒テンダーに行く気か綾部の情報を買うんなら金がかかるぞ金が足りなきゃその時考えるよ And that's a good point. I should check my mission board. Ah, my subordinate is missing. My name is Fuyuhiko Tanaka. I would like to talk to you about helping me look for someone. I'll be waiting at M Side Cafe in a black, black jacket with a purple shirt. Main story. Main story. Yeah, I'm still very early in the game. Which you would say, hey, Wei, you've been playing this three nights in a row, roughly about four or five hours each time, and you're still early in the game? And yeah, that's how Yakuza games are. They're very slow builds, but they're fantastic. Ah, there we go. Hello. You must be Tanaka san, the one who needed a PI? Hi. Yes, that makes you Yagami san, I assume. I'm Fuyuhiro Tanaka. It's a pleasure to meet you.、Uh, likewise, so you're hoping I can find someone? Is that right? Yes, one of my employees, actually. Queen of Hearts, side case. An employee? Yes, her name is Asami Moriya, Mori, Morimiyama. Morimiya. 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 Yes, her name is Asami Morimiya. And she stopped showing up to work as of last week. I see. And I assume you've exhausted all the regular ways to go and get in touch with her? Naturally. But. It seems even her friends haven't heard anything, and she hasn't been seen at home. Not even her parents have seen her. Hmm. Do you have any ideas about why she may have disappeared? Anything she may have been running from? Actually, she admitted to me that she had a stalker. Oh, that's、uh, alarming. Yeah, so. She said this guy who works for one of our clients had started harassing her. But we don't have any sway over their employees, of course. There wasn't much we could do.、Mm. Then one day, she just didn't show up for work. Hmm. And what about this stalker? If he's a client, can you give me a description or any distinctive features?、Yeah. No, I'm not familiar with him myself. That's. that's too bad. I regretted not being able to help her. I'd like to meet up with her so I can apologize in person. I'll pay you 100,000 yen. Ju man yen. Does that sound reasonable? Alright, l I'm on the case. Do you happen to have any photos of Moriyama san that would help, that would help me out a lot? That would help me out a lot. Of course. Here you go. Hmm. I'm gonna say she looks a little surprised, and、uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe this person right here is actually her stalker. That's normally how these kind of things go.、Um, <laughs> the 
let's find out, I guess. Oh, and I have her cell and e and her email. I should give those to you too. Yeah, I meant to ask. You said you tried contacting her, right? Hi. Yes, but it always rings a few times and then goes to voicemail. And no response on email either. That would mean she still has the same cell phone and she's probably keeping it charged. If she changed her number, it wouldn't even ring. Mm. But there must be a reason she's not answering. Where is she and what is she doing? Thank you very much. All right, let's see where this goes. Only problem is, I don't have any warm leads. Where should I start? I guess her cell would be the best bet. If I can use that to pin her down, if I can use that to pin down her location. Mm. But how? Who could do that? Oh, I have an idea of who could do that. Can I have a smoke now? Yeah, smoke time. Don't you start feeling lonely around this season, senpai? Lonely? You just got paid, man. Why don't you go buy some company? Why would you... Why would buying a company help? Besides, I don't think I could run one all by myself. Better get going. It's been a while since I've seen my buddy. But if anyone can track down a cell phone number, a cell phone from, from its number, it's this guy. Whose name I don't remember. Nah. You got a minute? Hmm? You got me, she! What brings you here? I'm looking for someone, and all I've got is a phone number and an email. Can you help me out? I could, but can you do something for me first? Mm -hmm. And what would that be? I ordered a DVD box set of this anime I'm into, but it wasn't around when they but I wasn't around when they delivered it. So now it's waiting for me at a convenience store, and I gotta go pick it up. So I see. How about you work your magic, and I'll go get your package. Ah, you read my mind, Yagamishi. It's waiting at the Popo in Showa Street. Mm -hmm. Wait, show us street? Why do you have it delivered all the way down there? <laughs> I clicked the wrong address, okay? And walking down there sounds like a pain, so... Fine, I'll do it. But you're gonna take care of this for me, right? Hey, <laughs> hey. This is child's play, Yagamishi. Here's the receipt, by the way. Key item obtained. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a hero taking on a stupid fetch quest in an RPG, Yagamishi. Now make haste, oh brave warrior. Uh. Okay, whatever. I guess walking across town to pick up a package is getting off light. All right, the pop on Showa Street. Better get, get this over with. Oh no, that's Queen of Hearts. Show. He said down there, so it's probably down here. Oh wait, Queen of Hearts, isn't that? Yeah, duh. <laughs> that's the quest I'm on. I'll go get a taxi from up here. Hey, 
Hey, I'm here to pick up a package. Uh, here you go. Oh, sure, just a moment. Here's your order, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'll do for Tsukumo. Better text him. Here, I got your package. Thanks a ton. Can you swing it by Mantai? On my way. All right, off to Mantai. Oh, I guess this taxi is actually closer. Oh, this one's new and very brutal. Wow. Talk about excessive force. Oh, I didn't realize my health was, uh, oops. That's three deaths. embarrassing I'm all the way back down here I guess that's why I had a new heat action it's probably a low health heat action which is why I haven't seen it Hey, it's a come on. Here's your package. <laughs> hey, hey, yes. You have no idea how excited I've been about this. Hey, whatever floats your boat. But anyway, anything you have to share on your end? Yes, I found this person you're looking for. Why wouldn't she be? Why wouldn't she bother changing her phone? Those things are like homing beacons, man. Damn, you're pretty good. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Anyway, it seems like she's got a job at the Popo on Shin Shichifuku Street now. Eh? Oh, come on. I have to go back to Popo? What's up with this? <laughs> yes, you do seem to get drawn into Popo stores quite a bit, huh? It's your Popo curse, Yagamishi. Exquisite screw. You know, I just realized the the pickup dropped item thing in this game is very reminiscent of Nier <laughs> and trying to get all those rare items. Uh, here we go. Like the eagle's egg. <clears throat> hmm? Wasn't there meant to be a taxi here? Uh, I guess the taxi can drop you off, but it can't park here. Okay. Uh, I mean, since I never come down this alley, I should take a quick look, see if there's any posters or books or anything, since I'm supposed to be looking for those. Uh, I'm not seeing anything particularly... Uh, no. Okay. Oops. Another exquisite screw. I thought 
third one. I guess they're not that rare then. <laughs> That's what I get for taunting. I'll finish this side quest, do the next whatever interaction of the main quest, and then I'll call it a night. So probably about another 10-15 minutes. To eight minutes tops. According to Sukumo, Moriyama san should be here. Better start looking. Um, are you Asami Moriyama? Mori Mia? Uh, yes, I am. Who are you? I'm Takeyuki Yagami. I'm a private investigator. I was hired by Fuyuhiko Tanaka to look for you. Uh, Tanaka-san, my manager? He hasn't been able to reach you, so he's been worried. I guess I did forget to tell him that I changed my number and email. Mm -hmm. Wait, you changed them? Mm. Yes. This persistent stalker, I, I have found them, so I had to change it. I see. And have you given your new contact information to anyone? Yeah. Only my family and my best friend. With this stalker, I'm not taking any chances. Right. You wouldn't be able to trace who leaked it. <sighs> but I guess I've really worried everyone, haven't I? I um, can I can I ask if the next time was mad? I left the company pretty suddenly. Yeah. No, in fact, he regretted that he couldn't help you out more. I see. Poor guy. Hello. Do I have your permission to tell Tanaka-san where to find you? Yes. I think I owe him an apology. Excellent. Thank you for trusting me. But please don't tell anyone other than Tanaka-san, okay? It would be horrible if the stalker found me again. Aye. Of course. I'll be very discreet. That's that. Better get in touch with Tanaka-san. Oh, all my red flags are flying right now. Hello, Tanaka-san. Oh, Yagami-san. Any news? Hi. Yeah, I found Moriyama-san. Really? That's the best possible news. I've kept calling her, but I just keep but it just keeps going to voicemail. I was besides myself with worry. Mm -hmm. You were getting her voicemail? Yeah. If she was safe, she could have just answered the phone. Sheesh. Well, there's nothing to worry about. So, where is she? Uh, about that. Tanaka-san, can we meet up? I think it's best I tell you in person. Uh, all right. Let's meet up at the M-Side Cafe. Great. See you there. The job's technically over once I tell Tanaka-san where Moriyama-san is. But I can't shake the feeling that something's off about this one. Can I talk to her again? Hello. Uh, Moriyama-san, can I ask you a question? Hey? Yes. You never gave Tanaka-san your new number or email, correct? Hey. Yes, that's right, I didn't. Then something's fishy. Tanaka-san knew your current contact information. Really? Not my old number? I never gave him my new contact. Your number is the 555 one, and your email is on SoftCloud, right? Yes. How? I only told my family. Is it possible that your family told him? I suppose it is. 
But would Tanaka-san really go to that length? He hasn't... He hasn't called you himself? No, he hasn't. Oh, but... I did get a few calls from an unknown number that I didn't answer. And you're sure that's not just a company phone or something? Yes, I'm sure. I know what those numbers look like. Tanaka-san said he'd been getting her voicemail, though. In fact, that was specifically what triggered him to ask me to take the case. And Moriyama-san said she's been getting calls from an unknown number. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who could this be? Hello? Hello. Th is this Yagami, the detective? Hi. Speaking. Well, you see, my name is Tanaka, and I'm hoping you can help me locate someone. Mm -hmm. This sounds awfully familiar. She was one of my employees, actually. A woman by the name of Asami Moriyama. Eh? Asama Moriyama? Huh? Yes. I'm worried about her. She was having trouble with a stalker named Inamoto, a client at our firm. Inamoto is actually the son of the CEO, which made things complicated. But then Asami-kun disappeared. Hold on. Haven't you already told me all of this? Excuse me? What do you mean? I mean, you already contacted me to find Moriyama-san, didn't you? I'm sorry. This is the first we've ever spoken, Yagami-san. Oh, no. The first Tanaka is... Hello. Sorry, but real quick. This Inamoto, is he a chubby man in his 40s or so? What? He is, but how did you know that? As I thought. Sir, I'll be in touch. <laughs> So you figured it out, huh? Whatever. As long as I have a Sami chan Damn. You've been tailing me? Also, this counts as chubby? This guy? He's not chubby. He's a little jowly, but he's not chubby. Japanese, man. <clears throat> Inamoto. I was, I was beginning to suspect that you might figure it out. And I did, but too late. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. You did manage to find a Sami, after all. And then you figured out me, too. You're quite an ace detective. <laughs> Inamoto-san, what are you doing here? A Sami. I think there's been a misunderstanding. But I'm sure we can talk things out between us. You and I are bound by the red string of fate that connects two souls. I... I don't... <laughs> so, Asami, let's go. Help! What are you doing, Asami? Get away from him. I'm the only one who should ever be near you. No! I hate you! Kirai! Can't you take a... <clears throat> can't you take a hint? Just give it. Go away. Huh? Go away, 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 go away. Hey, I said, go away. Threatening man. Didn't even waste a heat move on him. Uh, Asami. That's only the start of what a guy like you is going to face in prison. Ano? Thank you for saving me, sir. No, I don't deserve that. It's my fault you were in this situation in the first place. Nobody could have guessed he would go to such lengths, impersonating my boss and hiring you. Well, that should take care of that. Yes, what a relief. Hello? Hello? Is the Sami-kun okay? 
Yes, she's fine. And that bastard's been handed over to the cops. Oh, good. What a relief. Is the Sami Kun there? Yes, she is. Would you mind if I spoke to her for a moment, Yagami san? Mm -hmm. Huh? I, I'd like to apologize to her directly, is all. Oh, I understand. Can I ask what Tanaka-san said, Moriyama-san? He apologized, and he asked if I would come back to work for the company. Do you think you will? I don't see why not. The stalker situation's resolved, after all. And he promised that if anything like this ever happens again, he'll do a better job standing up for me. He wants to become the kind of boss who can protect his employees. Good. That's what a good boss does. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever got your name. I'm Yagami, a private investigator. Well, thank you then, Yagami. Just trying to do my job, ma'am. And on that note, I should be going. Uh, okay then. Goodbye!